Magnesium sulfate is a white crystal. It's an ionic substance, meaning it consists of ions, positive and negative ions, Mg2 plus ions, and SO4 2 minus compound ions. Now, if we take some magnesium sulfate crystal, some white powder, and we place it in a test tube, what we're seeing there is magnesium sulfate in the solid phase. And then if we add some water to that, we can make a solution. We can change the magnesium sulfate into the aqueous phase. And what happens in the process is that the magnesium ions get separated by the water from the sulfate ions. And now those positive and negative ions are free to move since they have water flowing between them. If we take a look at that, we can't really tell what it is because it just looks clear. We could even think it might be pure water. And so we need some kind of test to show up what the substance is. We hypothesize it might be a sulfate. So we do the test for a sulfate. In the test for a sulfate, we add a bit of barium chloride solution. Barium chloride solution contains barium ions, Ba2 plus ions, and Cl minus ions. And the barium ions bump into any sulfate ions that might be present and form an insoluble combination, barium sulfate. And there we've seen that it's been formed. It's a white precipitate that cannot dissolve in water, barium sulfate. And so the presence of that barium sulfate here indicates to us that sulfate ions had been present in the original solution. So the test for a sulfate is add barium chloride solution to a solution of the unknown salt. If a white precipitate forms, then probably the unknown solution was a sulfate.